What's up, Daily Dancers? I'm Matt. I'm Maggie. And this is Intermediate American Tango. Now, before you start hopping around and clicking the things down there, let me tell you what they are. They are time codes. You'll see descriptions by them. You can click on the time codes and you can skip this to go to something else, skip that to go to something else, or you can rewatch the whole thing and then go to the little parts you like best or you need to rewatch. Lead, the follow, the demonstration, key points, breakdown. You probably will want the demo, the breakdown, and the key points, but that's just because uh, it kind of gets into the nitty gritty. Uh, hey, you don't have to take my word for it, try it yourself. But yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate our progressive rocks. We'll start back here in blues position. We have slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And let's do that from the leader's beginning perspective. We'll start with closed. And we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, let's go ahead and break this pattern down. We'll start off in our closed position. We have slow, slow, and then here come our rocks. We have quick, quick, a second quick, we collect, and then take another walk on the same side. Now we do it now on the other side. So it leads right foot for quick, gather, quick, slow. Now it's just a tango close. Tango close. So the most important thing there is your ratcheting rock. That action that we have. Slow, slow. We want to go step, draw, step. Step, draw, step. That's what we're wanting to make sure we nail down there. One last time. We have. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then a tango close. Tango close. All right, leads, let's go over this footwork. So we have simply two walks, slow, slow, and then two sets of rocks. These are progressive. So we draw and progress. Step, draw, progress. Step, draw, progress. Then we have a link to close, or tango close. Forward, side, draw. That is why we call these progressives, progressive rocks, because the rocks must progress. They're not stationary rocks. So we have two walks again. Slow on the left, slow on the right. Now we have the progressive rock, which is a step, a draw in, put the weight back down, and step, so the rock progressed. We do it again on the other side. Step, draw, step. Now we just go tango, close. That is going to be our progressive rock. All right, fellas, let's go ahead and go over our footwork. So, we start in this closed position. We have our two walks like normal, going back on the right and then back on the left. Now, where we might expect, you know, back on the right and you know, start our tango close, this time we're going to go back on our right, but then our lead is going to stop our momentum a little bit, change it just a little bit so that we feel this change of weight and then we're going to go back on that right again. Then we're going to do the same thing on the left, back on the left. We're going to feel that change of weight, back on the left again, and then right forward, tang, go, close. So this is going to be one of those moves where it's very important to try and stay connected with your partner as much as possible so that you feel with their, their hand on your back, you'll be able to feel when that sort of, um, stop uh, begins, but then you'll also feel if you're connected with them, 
you'll feel when he starts to move back. So you'll feel where if we have this slow, slow, then for this quick, and then with that hanging your back, you'll feel the change of weight back onto your left. And then if you stay, stay connected with your partner, you should feel them start that um, going forward with what will be their left. So you'll go back with your right. And then you have that for this other side, going back on your left, left, drawing in with your right, back on your left again, and then hang, go, close. So if you haven't up until this point, because we're just near me, I want you to really try with this pattern to stay connected with your partner. It'll help uh, take some surprise out of it because this is, you know, this is going to start messing with our rhythms a little bit, and because um, there's no like obvious lead, like you know, uh, him uh, throwing us out or anything. So this one, I want you to really try and focus and working on your connection to be able to make sure that this pattern goes smoothly. Right? That's our footwork. All right, let's do the key points for this. So, our progressive rocks. The first point should be clearly the name. A lot of times, people do this pattern. They call it progressive rocks, and they do not dance progressively. So, the first thing I want you to examine, if you know this, if you've seen this, um, or if this is your first time, you have to be doing what you call the pattern. Progressive rocks, you are progressing as you rock, right? So. At a side on, I'm going to have my two walks get in slow, slow. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of going quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And it's this stationary rock. It's not progressive. I would much prefer us to call it a progressive rock, and we progress with the rocks. So we progress along the line. You can see that it travels really far, really fast because it progresses. So that is something you want to aim to do. So when you're doing these steps, step, draw in, shift the weight, and then step again versus doing rock and place. Rock and place, right? So that is the biggest thing that I want you to focus on when you're doing this pattern. Now the key point to this is connection. This is the reason why we do this at an intermediate level versus a beginner level because we now have to make sure we're connecting properly with the partner. So when we are, let's see here, over here and connecting, I'm going to go into this rocking action step. When I collect, I'm collecting, but then I slightly shift back over this foot. So they feel that weight change. Step, collect, step, collect, right? That kind of action of rocking and progressing, rocking and progressing is key. If we do, this is, this is another thing, if I go here and I put my foot down, they do not feel that because I'm not come back over the foot. So I might do this and change my weight, they'll be on the other foot and I'll step into them. This is another huge problem. Probably, this might be the reason why they went back to doing stationary rocks, because they couldn't sort it out, or the teacher couldn't sort it out, or someone was not taught that. That's the most common problem to have when you're doing a progressive rock properly. So you have to make sure when you, you rock, you bring the weight underneath yourself, but you still settle back over with it. That way then you change the follower's weight position too. You don't do it well enough to where the follower can feel that weight change back after you've collected. You're out of luck. So this is why it takes a little bit more uh, technical aspect for that, a little bit more gumption there. You gotta go after a little bit harder. So stay connected. Now, it, at the intermediate level, we do start connecting a little bit more. So I'm connected from my rib down to my pelvic bone here on my hip. So I'm connected for about this much from the small rib down to this hip bone. That is my connection material here. And so then I can go step, and then when I collect and draw in there, I'm able to feel that out. 
Now again, I'm going to stretch this and expose this so it's easy to be connected to. So if I lead from my top line and do this, it pulls it away. They can't connect to the lead anymore. Likewise, I keep the hip forward, keep this available. It's kind of like it's easy to dock with. So if I keep this there, it's easy and they can feel where I'm at at all times. So that's what we're looking at. So that's a, a key point whenever we're connecting or using our body as a leading action is we have to make sure that we, we show that part and we want that to be available to connect to. So whenever you're doing these actions leads, make sure that you don't lead from the shoulders because then it will pull your lower line in. We want to have this stretched and available so that we can dock and then connect for those actions. And that's what we're looking for for that. So in summary, progressive rock. The rock's got to progress, right? Then how? By collecting the foot, shifting the weight back, and then progressing, right? Think of it like when you're fencing, because all of you out there carry a sword on the daily. Yeah, that's, that's what you ring a bell. <laughs> so um, there we go. So that is your, your key points there, is that A, you progress while you rock, and B, how we do it, you connect by utilizing the small rib to the hip. That little line, keeping that open and project it, that's how they can feel where you are and what you're doing with that. There's your key point. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate this pattern. We'll do this in a real-time fashion so you can have an idea what this would look like on a dance floor. We'll start back here in closed position. And we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, great job. That is all for today. Keep playing with it. Keep working on that connection. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, give us a call. Go ahead and go ahead and check us out on our website, dailydanceservices.com. Shoot us an email, any of that good stuff. Social media, we're on there. We're on Facebook as well. Give us a shout, and we'll be more than happy to work with you. All right, that's all for today. We will see you next time. Next time. Next time, next time, next time. Next time, next time, next time.